Greetings fellow travelers. This is the most recent save, or sorry, I should say base, in the uh, save uh, after titles of movies. And yeah, that would be Winterhold down there. That would be the Winterhold's pyramid, and while you cannot see it, uh, Raven Rock should be there. Not sure why it isn't. I'll have to go back to it and save a piece. Update the, uh... Oh, I know what happened. Uh, I was trying to recapture the images following the recent update where all the images of your bases disappeared from the teleporter and Vlinderal Hall is the last one I'd done, so... Yeah, it's not showing. Anyway, there's a building. It's on a fairly steep escarpment. And the only place that's even remotely flat. And it's not quite finished yet, but uh, the basic layout is done. And it's very happy not to damage the trees. So let's momentarily go to daylight. All right, sorry about the uh, delay. I will try to speed this up and edit. All right. Uh, save effect, as, as you can see, it's the somewhat only flat terrain, and even then it's still fairly steep. Oh, I try to keep the general impression of the Skyrim building of the same name, although there is a fairly radical departure right off the bat. Uh, massive windows, but that's partially because Sky, uh, because unlike Skyrim, No Man's Sky is so horrible at interior lighting and equally bad as filling pools with water because, well, there is no water blocks. It would be so useful. It's like, do you want this cube to be filled with water? Yes. End of story. But it's blue with blue lighting. It doesn't look too bad. Yeah, this is to replicate the amazing level. Um, unfortunately, I went a little bit too big when I first set up, and I didn't feel like taking it apart. So things are kind of almost double the size. And of course, you have wetter inside. So I end up literally walling this off to the, the, what became the pool area. It became a separate building. Uh, parents' balcony. Children's balcony. Children's room. Unfortunately, we don't have anything resembling firewood, or else I would have stacked it there. Children's bathroom, uh, not completed. This would be the family dining room recreational area that you see in Proud Spire and Skyrim. This would be the overlooking, amazing, uh, the entrance type thing. Well, obviously the entrance has been replaced by the pool. Master bathroom with ensuite bedroom. Uh, sorry. Let me rephrase that. Master bedroom with ensuite bathroom. Good God, man. Get your words in order. I ultimately, I didn't like putting a wall there, um, and maybe just maybe it shouldn't be 
the upper level of glass, but and again, there's the issue of the lighting where, you know, the caldera blooms provide so much more lighting than half a dozen neons. This is going to be the dining area, living room area. Over here, I'm probably going to do a guest bedroom or guest bedrooms. This is the lobby, similar in style to Skyrim, uh, building of the same name, where there's going to be a small sete. I really wish you could have some sort of closet or pegs or something to hang cloaks and stuff. And this will be the kitchen, as if that wasn't a dead giveaway. And yeah, that didn't work out. The problem is, is putting these guys in place. If I could line them up properly with this fellow, then it would be an issue. But unfortunately, yeah, it didn't work out. And I just forgot to delete it. in-ground, indoor pool and indoor patio and outdoor patio with a partial uh, roof to protect people from the elements. And yeah, the, the, the kitchen allows you to see the exterior patio and oh, for fuck's sakes, it wasn't there when I started building Yep, if I find a game that does not involve learning how to operate a truck, a crane truck that is, I'm so out of here. All right, I'm just a little bit frustrated with the, oh, can't keep the grass out and So yeah, and the funny thing is, is in my other save, the one, both oh, for the uh, Lindrill, oh, sorry, not Lindrill, um, Winterhold Pyramid, as well as the one for the Winterhold Settlement, different save, the weather is not paradise, not for sure, for sure, temperate maybe. Uh, with slightly muggy showers but in this save oh they're not muggy showers they're scorching hot showers and this is actually large enough that it starts getting steamy you start feeling the weather inside which has got to be one of the most ridiculous features of this game and uh, well since you have a staircase going up you have space so yes storage lift and yes Small exit. Like the building it's inspired from, it has, you know, several exits. But I've been at this for whoa, almost two hours. Kind of had my fill. And I really wish the East would come with their equivalent upside down, which would allow it, more importantly, to snap on top. Yep. Anyway, uh, that's it.